name is Emily, and a while back, I used to work for Starbucks. It wasn't the best job in the world, but I was able to have free coffee, and it helped me save up for my first car. But one of the worst things about working there were the customers. Not all were bad, but there is one customer who I will never forget. It was early morning, and we had been open for about three hours at this point. This lady walks in. I had never seen her before, but she studied the menu, and then ordered this very elaborate and complicated drink. After I took her order, I told her the price. The lady reached into her bag and pulled out a Dunkin' Donuts gift card. She handed it to me as payment. I couldn't tell if she was trolling or whatnot, but I politely told her that this is Starbucks and we cannot accept that gift card here. She instantly became angry and upset. She shoves the gift card in my face and says to take it. It's just coffee. It doesn't matter where the gift card comes from. And it got so bad that I had to get my manager, who obviously had my back, and told the lady we absolutely cannot take that gift card. And I had other drink orders ready on the counter for other customers, and the lady saw them. In her anger, she swiped across the counter and spilled them everywhere. Before I had time to react to this, the lady flipped me the middle finger and headed out the door. Now I'm not kidding, that lady was a total bitch, and I wanted to fight her so bad. My manager calmed me down in the break room, because I was on the verge of having a panic attack. And after I calmed down, I was able to finish my shift in peace. And I clocked out at 5pm that night, and said goodbye to my coworkers. As I was heading to my car that was parked in the back part of the lot, I noticed something immediately. My car was by a patch of trees near a dumpster. Standing right next to the dumpster was that lady from earlier. And I actually couldn't believe that it was her. All the rage that I had from earlier started to build back up. However, the lady took a step closer to me and I noticed that she had a brick in her hand my anger turned to true fear as she started sprinting directly at me. I opened my car door and got in it. I had just clicked the locks when she was right outside trying to open it. She was screaming out loud like some wild animal. She raised the brick and bashed it into my window. It started cracking and I started to sob uncontrollably. I held down my horn to alert my co-workers inside Starbucks. Thankfully, three of my male co-workers came sprinting out to help me. One of them tried to grab the brick from her, but she hit him pretty hard in the chest. The other two were able to subdue her and hold her down onto the ground. While all this was happening, I was on the phone with 911. The entire time, the lady was calling me slurs that I know you cannot say on YouTube. When police got there, they asked us questions and ultimately put her in handcuffs. I'm pretty sure she got like two years in jail for assaulting my coworker and attacking me in my car. All of this happened because she tried paying with a Dunkin Donuts gift card at a Starbucks. That was the last job I ever had that dealt with the public. So for anyone who works at Starbucks or in retail in general, I feel for you. You deserve way more money and much more respect from the public. Stay safe, everyone, and stay caffeinated. When I used to work at Starbucks, the creepiest thing ever happened to me. I was working the late night shift. It was just me and my manager, Jill. Our location closed at 9 p.m. and around 8.30, we were starting to clean up and get ready to go home. It had been a pretty slow day with customers, so I was surprised when we had a car pull up to the drive-thru. It was a male 
and he placed an order for a grande macchiato. When he was done, I told him to pull up to the first window. I was making the drink as fast as I could, because I just wanted to get out of there. When I finished, I went to the window, but there was no car. I stuck my head out the window and saw that the car was still parked by the drive through menu. I waved my hands at him to pull forward, but his high beams were on so I couldn't really see him or anything. I gave it a few more minutes in case he had something going on, but when I stuck my head out the second time, he was still parked by the menu. I'm pissed off because it was now almost 9pm, I grabbed his coffee and went out the front doors. When I got to his side door, I looked into the car and was shocked to see that nobody was there. And absolutely baffled, I called Jill to come outside and see what we should do. When Jill came out, she saw me standing next to the car and had this look of pure terror on her face. Confused, I asked her what's wrong. Jill told me that the car belonged to her abusive ex-boyfriend. She could tell by the license plate. Now I was very frightened. Before we could do anything next, from the shadows of the parking lot, we saw someone start walking towards us. But not just anyone. They were wearing that mask from Scream, Ghostface. And even worse, he was carrying what looked like a knife. Absolute fear took over me. I grabbed Jill by the hand and pulled her back into the Starbucks. We had just locked the front doors when the man wearing the ghost face mask slammed into them. He banged into them hard and the knife was clanking against the windows. Jill was bawling her eyes out in the corner, telling me that it was her ex and that he's after her. I tried to stay as calm as possible as I called the police for my cell phone. I yelled at the guy what I was doing and I saw him run away back to his car. He got in it and sped off. When police got there 10 minutes later, we explained everything and even gave them the security tapes. Police were able to confirm the license plate that did indeed belong to Jill's abusive ex-boyfriend. Her ex was actually in jail for six months for domestic violence against her, and when he was let go, she had a restraining order against him. By him coming to her place of work, that violated the terms of restrictions, and he was actually sent back to jail for three years. Her ex is an absolute piece of shit, and that night was one of the most terrifying nights of my life. I'm terrified to think what he'll do when he gets out. So this story happened to me when I was working at Starbucks. It was located in the middle of our busy town and we were always swamped. I had worked there for so long that I knew all my regulars and got along with most of the customers. Well, we had this one guy. He wasn't a customer, but he would always just stand outside the shop and look in. When I first started noticing him, I didn't really think anything of it. I'd look up sometimes and just see him standing right outside the windows, peeking in and observing. One day, we were busy, and of course, our strange man was outside the windows and looking in. But this time, his phone was out. Like, it looked like he was taking a picture of the people or recording them. And for further context, if I had to guess, this guy was in his 40s. He always dressed in baggy clothing and had a really unkempt hair. A few of the customers had come up to us saying that the guy standing outside was making them very uncomfortable. My manager told me that I was the one who had to go outside and tell the guy that he has to stop. Begrudgingly, I made my way to the front doors. I walked outside and approached the man. I could instantly smell this foul odor like he hadn't showered in weeks. But I kept my cool and politely asked him if he could stop filming or taking pictures of our inside. 
And the guy smiled at me, but he only had like four teeth. He looked me up and down and said, Sure, he can stop. He already has enough photos for his collection anyway. I don't know what the hell he meant by that, but I watched as he walked into the parking lot and got into his beat up red car. As weird and strange as that guy was, I was just glad that he was now gone and not bothering anybody. When I was done my shift, I went straight back to my apartment. I worked the late shifts, so by the time I got home it was like 10 p.m. And as I pulled into my parking spot, I noticed a few cars down from me, that same old red beat up car that weird guy was driving earlier. Concerned that it was following me and somehow knew where I lived, I ran to my apartment and locked the door. And I had a really hard time sleeping that night when there was a knock at my door. I got out of bed and went to my front living room window. I looked out and didn't see anybody. I opened my front door slightly. On my front steps was a Starbucks coffee. I bent down to pick it up and saw that my name was written on it. I also noticed that the red beat up car was now gone. I threw the coffee to the side and locked my door again. I texted all my friends about my situation and how terrified I was. I did not get any sleep that night. From then on out, whenever I went back to Starbucks, I never saw that man again. I know in my heart that was his car parked at my apartment, and I know that it was him who left the coffee on my steps. The dude was an absolute creep, and I'm glad I don't work at Starbucks anymore.